video. And this video was going to be Portal 2, as you can quite clearly see. This will be the episode 1 of the series that I'm going to do. So, yeah, this should go very well, hopefully. Maybe. Perhaps. Okay. Starting that. Going chapter by chapter, I think. Move that down a bit. There we go. And that probably just got a bit louder then. Oops, never mind. Um, hope you guys have been well. And I don't know if you watched my last video, but it'll be in the in the corner. And my last video was the Forza Horizon video that I did. Yeah. So this is episode one of Portal 2. Portal 2. So yeah. You can probably hear my uh, Xbox in the background. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. If you've ever seen it, you will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required uh, intellectual so sustenance, I'm show you reflect some briefly that on this classical music. Now, please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for Hello? Anyone in there? Percy called. Hello? Are you going to open the door? I think it's changed. Any time? Hello? I'll put the other one on the other side. But yeah. Are you going to open this door? Ha! Ah! Oh, God, God. You look... Um, good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. something. Word of advice. Really I'm down, but... So, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although, if you do if you do feel alarmed, don't try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out. So, of course, the whole the relaxation centre stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And, of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Who's like me? Who's like me? On why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? I'll get, I'll get through that. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Don't say you hit that one. You just fall off. Just 
phone home. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. This is below. All right. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. If you didn't the game, then a little bit ahead where it actually is. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Now, if you've ever played Bobble at all. All right, off you go. Good luck. If you ever played Bobble, this room Hello. should run on. And again, yes. welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, Testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational it. support so that science can still be done, even in the event of I'm environmental, wrong. social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal way, will open, and emergency wrong. testing will begin in three, two, one. Two. I might have like a three, two, one sign. And button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. Button based testing. If cube and button based testing is causes this emergency, hear it. And not because of me. Oh no, my controller disconnected. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, good. Left it up. Don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are not very slim. My controller to try to Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Okay. Okay. I don't know, I had to cut a bit out. That's because my controller decided to uh, disconnect itself. Put it on a wire, so it disconnected itself, which was lovely. Really nice that was, but never mind. That's just life. So let's, let's do this. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply yeah, immediate yeah. pressure to your temples. Sorry. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Inside your head. I hope not, because that's just not going to be good, is it? I'm not good with any of this commentary stuff, but we'll get enough. It might take me a year or so, for several years. I think. It's a while, I think. If you guys want to let me know, I, I know I can find out. I know where I find out too. But a bit of a bit of audience Good. cooperation. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. So, yes, um, just a bit of audience participation. If you want to let me know how long we've been going, if you can find, if you know how to. But if you don't, I'll, I'll put it in this, probably in the comments or something. I'll put it somewhere. We're probably going to do if the Earth this is currently uh, governed by a manner of an animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body uh, that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Now you might want to remember what that is. Remember that. Oh, it's on. You will remember this. The, uh, hey, you made it. There should be a, a portal it's device it's on that right. podium over there. It's not Wally at all. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go and have a quick look? 
I don't know if off my it disappeared. It's alright. Oh! Hello! Hello? No. Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? <laughs> That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work <laughs> on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go, team! Right. See you in an hour, oh, hopefully. Even you to go, look. If you're not dead... Oh, that's cool. That's cool. That'd be Ratman's... Ratman's hand, I That's cool. Portal. That. I changed my button slightly. Then we can leave the bunkers. Yeah, bunkers. Are supposed to be the zoom and stuff, but I've got the triggers. It's trigger the zoom. That's also not that much. That's actually set the pressure. And the grinder is taking more. Evidence of portal gun. Evidence of portal. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Which is which probably isn't any anyway. But never mind. So If at the end of this video you like this video, then please give it a like. No worry, it's not the end of the video yet. So you... This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three. So it'll probably two, be the last one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. I don't see what point that is, really. That makes absolutely no sense to me. I don't want to Makes absolutely no sense. Oh, that's pretty up here now. And it's just gonna go up here and excite. Oh, writing. Unreason. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I kind of need to stay out there actually. Oh no, I don't need to stay out there. I need to go like this way. That was just a random load of random nonsense. That was just a load of random absolute nonsense. I mean, just thinking about a waterfall recording this because my mouth's going to get dry. A bit dry. Water. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. How do we know what's the deliberate part of the test, though? I've played this several times before, I shouldn't have done this before, I shouldn't have played that one. Cool. Would have been cool had I done this the first time, it took me several hours to do some of these tests last time. 
Well done. Speed through. The Hedge Pen Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. That is quite low. 1.1 volt. That is incredibly low. Bright idea. I'm probably going to get copyright for this now. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through ports. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, you have to God help you. Have you happened to see? Well, it's it's a thing. It's a thing. Right, okay. Right. The thing I learned from doing the trial version of Portal 1, doing GLaDOS. Damn it. Not right. It's called Speedy Thing Goes In, Speedy Thing Comes Out. Now I'm going to teach you Speedy Thing Goes In, Speedy Thing Comes Out. It's quite useful. It's not seriously not Minecraft. I did not just try and run and jump. No, that did not work at all. Right. Get... Oop. And I think I still missed. Oop. That was happy. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with not you. I have to the game too many times. And my face is all plastic in the bottom. If you miss, then I think you miss. Right. Is that up there? No? Yes, maybe? Let's start. Up there. Out the box. And somehow it fit the hole. That did not work, did it? That was there. Ah. Can't run and jump. Hey, give me the box. Ow. I think I threw the hole. That one did not work. Go through the hole. Kill. Just have to make sure that works. That's what it sent me. Why is that not a thing? Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I went to them. I'm the best qualified testing candidate you could ever find. You can't get any better than me. I might do a chapter video. It'll only be like 10 chapters. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! Damn. Come up here! Damn oh, brilliant! Oh, you did that. find a portal gun! Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Come on through! Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. <laughs> but we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. Guarantee we're going to miss. On three. Guarantee ready? It. We're going to miss. One. Two. Three! That's high. It's it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me! Catch Ow! Ow, I... I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> 
plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Go on, just jam me in over there. I don't want to jam you in anywhere. That's road. Naughty. Naughty radio. Right on that stick, over there. Just road. put me right on it. No, I'm not putting one stick. I'm not putting this trick on the on It the is stick. tricky, it is tricky. Not but, um, just plug me in, please. Um, I think if you wait there yeah, long I can't do it if you're watching. Because, say, this isn't Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? I'm not watching. You. I'm not watching. All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Oh. Not open. While well, your back was turned. Pick me up. And off we go. Look at this. No rail to tell us where to go. Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just Hold on, though. Where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um, just follow the rail, actually. <laughs> oh, no. See, yes, hello. No, we're not stopping. Don't make contact. Okay? Whatever yes, you do. Maybe. No, thanks. We're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep maybe. moving. Okay. I, don't, I don't know if we get that one. Yeah. Any, any Moon King that we saw earlier. I'll see if I can put a picture of it in a minute. See if you remember it from anywhere. I'll try and put that back up. But if I don't, then you can kill it. Probably will bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, go through her chamber. And she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Okay, I'm gonna lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. Don't, she, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. There you she is. One, what a nasty piece of work she was. Honestly, like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up? Uh, do you know who ended up taking her down? Yeah. You're not gonna believe this. A human. Me. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed it either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happens. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. So, that is an incinerator wall. Okay, okay down these stairs. Jump! It's, actually, look at it. That is quite a, that's quite a distance, isn't it? Okay, you know what? Uh, go ahead and jump. You've got you've got braces on your legs, so you're all set. Although no braces on your arms, though, so you're going to have to rely on the old human strength to keep a grip on the device and, by extension, me. So do do really make sure you keep a grip on me. Also, a ah! oh, still held, you're still being held. You did, that's a great job. You've applied the grip. We're all fine. That's tremendous. Three sixty, no job. Ah! I just sorry. I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah! I've just done it again. Alright, this is where I'm going to end the video here, even though we have not hit chapter 1. I have not clue where chapter 1 actually starts, but we're going to, we're going to stop the video here. I will catch you guys.